In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to enter into the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and peace spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. 
for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord, as Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The color rose on the advent wreath, that third candle, functions a little bit like the yellow light in a traffic light. It means something is about to change 
very quickly, and we have just a short amount of time to respond. And as we contemplate this great servant of the Lord, John the Baptist, and his message pointing us to Christ, it is a reminder to us as we prepare for the coming of our Lord at Christmas what we might do for him on his birthday. The first reading from the prophet Elijah reminds us that the Spirit of the Lord is upon us. It's speaking about John the Baptist, but all of us, by virtue of our confirmation and of our baptism, have been anointed to do the things that Jesus wants us to do for his birthday, to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to captives, and release to prisoners. That is so effectively done in the sacrament of confession when people are liberated from the sins that oppress them. And St. Paul tells us how to live these, these next few days of Advent as we prepare for Christmas, to refrain from every kind of evil and to retain what is good, that we might be preserved blameless, as Paul tells us, for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is so very near. May we be prepared for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the coming of Jesus into the human family is the source of our happiness. We pray during Advent to increase our faith and our commitment to him. For the Pope, bishops, and priests, may they preach with deep conviction what the coming of Jesus into the world means for the church and the whole world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For civic leaders everywhere, May they see their responsibilities as an opportunity to generously serve the common good and the whole community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an openness to life within the sacrament of marriage and an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not yet believe, may this Advent season open their eyes to the glory of God and bring them to eternal salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we come to you in prayer because you not only want our happiness, but give us the means of achieving it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for the good and good of all his hands. May the sacrifice of our worship, O Lord, we pray, be offered to you unendingly to complete what was, begun, what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without and we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. 
As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. If you cannot attend Mass and would like to receive the Eucharist at home, please contact your parish directly. To help support the TV Mass from the Basilica, call one 866 507-8757 or visit faithdirect.net slash basilica tv mass. My Catholic faith is the center of our family life. We really strive to bring up our kids in the faith. We live within one of the Pueblo reservations within northern New Mexico. We have always valued our cultural beliefs, both Hispanic and Native American. I think Knights of Columbus has really strengthened his faith, which leads to him being able to lead his family through his vocation as a father. The Knights of Columbus helps me to be a better father, husband, by helping me to lead by example. I want to help people to find their way into the church and live the lives that God intends them to live. And being a knight has helped me to do that, and it helps me to help others do that as well.